Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In the midst of ongoing conflicts and geopolitical tensions, the recent criticisms leveled against the performance of U.S.-supplied M1A1 Abrams tanks by the Ukrainian military have sparked intense debate and scrutiny. These critiques, highlighted in discussions on army recognition on May 31, 2024, have drawn responses from both Ukrainian officials and a retired American general, shedding light on the complexities of modern warfare and the challenges faced by military equipment in dynamic battlefield environments. The controversy surfaced when Ukrainian tank crews raised concerns regarding the effectiveness and suitability of the Abrams tanks in their operational theater. Grievances ranged from perceived inadequacies in armor protection and engine reliability to electronic vulnerabilities exacerbated by adverse weather conditions. Ukrainian officials underscored the importance of addressing these issues, especially considering the heightened threat posed by Russian forces targeting U.S. equipment, including the prized Abrams tanks. Retired Lt. Gen. Mark Hurtling, a seasoned military veteran with extensive experience in European theaters, vehemently dismissed these criticisms in a recent CNN interview. Hurtling's unequivocal rebuttal labeled the complaints as nonsense and attributed them largely to crew errors and misconceptions. He emphasized the Abrams design for NATO environments and downplayed concerns about terrain suitability, maintenance demands, and combat effectiveness, dismissing them as exaggerated or unfounded. However, amidst the spirited defense of the Abrams tanks, tangible challenges have emerged on the battlefield. Reports of armor penetration by Russian anti-tank guided missiles and the destruction of Abrams tanks by enemy drones have underscored the evolving nature of modern warfare. Ukrainian efforts to retrofit the tanks with anti-drone armor screens reflect adaptive responses to these emerging threats, though questions persist regarding their efficacy in mitigating vulnerabilities. Acknowledging the evolving threat landscape, Brigadier General Jeffrey Norman and the U.S. Army's Next Generation Combat Vehicle Cross-Functional Team have initiated strategic reassessments and modernization efforts. The decision to prioritize the development of the M1E3 Abrams, designated the M1A3 upon deployment, signals a proactive approach to address identified limitations and enhance overall battlefield survivability. The envisioned M1A3 Abrams represents a paradigm shift towards lighter, more agile platforms without compromising on crucial survivability aspects. General Dynamics Land Systems appointment as the prime contractor underscores the collaborative effort to integrate cutting-edge technologies and operational insights into the next-generation MBT. As the conflict in Ukraine continues to unfold and military dynamics evolve, the scrutiny surrounding the M1A1 Abrams tank serves as a poignant reminder of the imperatives of adaptability and innovation in modern warfare. While challenges persist, the commitment to continuous improvement and the relentless pursuit of technological superiority remain guiding principles in safeguarding national security interests and ensuring operational effectiveness on the battlefield. That's all for now, see you later.